right guys, we got the M1 helmet here, and this M1 helmet is actually, a lot of you guys have told me, and I have also figured that out afterwards, Vietnam War M1 helmet, it is not World War II, and first of all, I'll show you guys why, so number one, right there, that notch in the back metal where my finger is next to, right there, that notch, there is only one on the back of it, and I think that there's only one on the front of the World War II ones. Number two, the straps. These straps are the Vietnam War ones. As you can see, they got a button instead of a clip. And another one, the color, not right, for a World War II helmet at least. Very good condition for original though. All right, so here's the helmet cover, or the, the liner, helmet liner. I didn't have to look in the helmet to see that. But um, this is probably the biggest way you could realize so the inside liner and that bright green color instead of the dark oak color. Um, yeah, so you could definitely tell the difference with that stuff right there. But I have some new stuff for the helmets. So one of the first things I'm going to do is let me put this on. And put this on. So too tight in the M1 helmet. It also, yeah, the strap looks like that. When it goes around your chin, it looks like this. So, see that? So I'm gonna take off the top real quick. Oh my gosh. A really old fashioned 1950s car just pulled up to my neighbor's house. It's really cool. All right, so to adjust the straps, you have to simply just pull this little thing back, if I can, that's not the cart, if I can pull it back, yeah, there you go, so it will look like that, and see the little iron bars right there, or little iron pegs, I should say, not bars, I'm going to tighten this to about right there. So, get the helmet liner inside of there, put this on, just need a little bit of tightening, yeah, so I'm going to tighten, I'll say right here on this side, uh, that more even, pull that right there, come on, oh, I thought I just broke my helmet. Alright guys, I just got the chin strap on, but I do not like it, so it doesn't even look that cool on me. I'm gonna take that off, but yeah. So you get the chin strap on, but I don't I don't usually have the chin strap on like that. For one reason is this. I like to put it back here and look at that. Look at that. That's how far apart those are from each other. So all you gotta do again is pull the string like behind it, like how you see I'm doing right now. You gotta hold on to the metal thing and just pull it back. And pull it to the front about. Alright guys. So as you can see with pure strength my own muscle, I managed to fix those. A little bit of hesitation, but you know, I managed to get them. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so here's the special part of this video. Um, I just got something new specifically for this one, in fact. And you already might have an idea of what it is, yeah, boys. 
reproduction M1 helmet cover. Uh, there's two sides. There's this one, and there's this one right here. But, you know, this one is the most iconic, so I'm probably going to use this. So, I will do kind of a tutorial on how to get it on. My M1 helmet, or on your M1 helmet if you are trying to use this as a tutorial, possibly. I don't know. So, yeah, there's the back helmet. It's a very good helmet, but you gotta take this, you gotta unbutton this strap. From the 1960s that the buttons might wear down uh you are not correct these buttons are no joke if you if you have one you, you know what i'm talking about all right so can't really get a full on view of this but there's the top of it and so you put your M1 helmet in like you're putting your M1 helmet on a cloth bucket, basically. If you think about it. So, maybe for the next video, well, most likely, I'll do some helmet graffiti, but you want it to look like this. Like, the helmet, and make sure it's the outside shell, not the inside. And you make sure this is off there completely. So, once it's all in there, Put, tuck all these little flaps inside of there and make sure since you see there's a little indent right there you put it around so that you could take those out and put them back I'm going to take all those out back at the top make sure you adjust it so it's tightened Good already. So for now, I'm going to put this in there. We'll fix any errors or anything that we want to fix on there. Already. But then you just slide the liner piece right into the helmet. Like that. So it'll end up looking something like this. I will make some adjustments because as you can see, it is a little bit wrinkly. Right, like around here. Some like of that, but yeah, I will make some adjustments and yeah, be right back. All right, guys, so this looks somewhat better around the straps and everything. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get this right here. We're gonna get our straps and then we are going to fold them around the back of the helmet. This is how I prefer it. Doesn't matter if you want to or you don't want to. This is kind of how I prefer it. I really gotta push down on my helmet. All right. Whew. Workout. So there we go. There's our helmet right now, currently. With all that on, let's put it on really quickly. Looks pretty cool, but you may be thinking, I think he's forgetting something. And I'm not forgetting something. I'm gonna tighten this, that's what I'm gonna do. I got my helmet good, but you're like, there's something missing from it. Well, there is something missing from it, but I have it. We look at it right here. I got one of these straps right here that goes around the helmet. And I do want you guys to comment below, what are these glow in the dark things for? On the back of these, like, they're called like tiger eyes or something, I don't know. If you look at that, maybe you'll be able to see that, but they're glow in the dark. I just flip them inside out, it still looks good. Like, look at that. All right, so. Hopefully that's better. All right, so make sure it's all the way around the helmet. Push down a little bit. 
point where it's okay. I know I'm a little bit um, OCD seeming, but I want this little strap to be somewhat lined up right there. Yeah, that's good. Push that down right there. Put this around to the front. And yes, this helps. If you're going to buy one of these from like Amazon or something, here's some advice. You're going to want to get one of these straps on there. Because you can see that looks, a, in my opinion at least, looks a lot better on this helmet. So yeah, there's the strap on. Now, I'm going to add some more stuff to it. Because you can't get enough stuff on here. We will probably do a separate video about graffiti. Like, American helmet graffiti. Stuff like that. I'll probably write, well, I have to write on here, CCR somewhere for Credence Clearwater Revival. Can't leave that out. All right, so I have some stuff that I'm gonna decorate on there. This is really your decision. You wanna put stuff on there or not? And what stuff you're gonna put on there, but this is the stuff that I currently have available right now. Our first ones are, Yeah, I don't want to say that. Those are confusing to say, but this is a, here, let's see if it could get into focus right there. Focus, focus. Yeah, it's not getting into focus, but that, the end of this empty bullet, nothing inside of it, I will say, is a Hornady, um, is a Hornady, 25-06 Remington rounds. So they're technically historic. So these ones have a smaller opening in SPRG rounds are these bigger ones. So the SPRG rounds, so got the helmet right there. And I'm going to use the smaller bullets first. So I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six of these smaller bullets that I'm just going to simply load up on right here. So you just put it right there. And putting that helmet cover on there like that. All right, so that, there that we have that. I pull this down a little bit. And it's totally up to you. You don't, if what you put in there, what you don't want to put in there, of course. I just kneeled on this. So what this is, is not even a reproduction. It's eyeglasses cleaner. But it looks kind of like the um, bug spray in Vietnam that no biggie would give you cancer. Um, but you would dab some on your arm. You'd go like that with it. So yeah, it would just give you cancer. Not, nothing really that bad. So I'm going to put it like that. Make it look kind of like the bug juice. This camera is kind of helping me out right now. I'm gonna try to make this as low as to um, the bottom of this as I possibly can. So, as you can see, it looks kind of like the bug juice from Vietnam. These two big bolts. Um, so, for the first one, I'm gonna put it right on this side, right? Here. There we go. All the stuff is on our helmet. It's exactly kind of how I want it to be. It's perfect. So I do feel my helmet is a little bit heavier, but not drastic or drastic. So there we go. 
He's a really nice helmet. Um, fits okay for me. And yes, that was my camera stand right here. So yeah, got the bolts, bolts all on that side. And I got some bug spray on that side. And sometimes we would put um, cards on here. And yeah, a lot of the times they would do helmet graffiti. Yeah, let me take this off, sorry. Don't wanna drop it off my head. A lot of the times they would do some, sorry guys, they would do some helmet graffiti on here. Like right there. Put a peace sign or whatnot. That's probably what I'm gonna do around the front of this, like about right there. Put a peace sign, well, on about this side, I'm probably gonna put a big old peace sign right there. And it'll see like peace, love, and stuff like that. And yeah, that might be the next video that we're gonna do. So hopefully that I was going to do it today, but I needed a Sharpie and I thought I had one here, but I do not. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go edit it. And yeah, if you want to do anything else.